I'm Mani Jahangiri, and I'm a yoga teacher. I teach yoga not just for humans, but yoga for humans and dogs together. And I come from a therapeutic background of, of working many, many years in yoga and yoga therapy with children. People doing yoga on the beach and there were dogs running around freely and I thought thought there must be some way of actually doing combining the tradition of yoga with the humans and the dogs together that the dog can benefit from the yoga it just looked so pure and so real and just exactly what I wanted to do it just dawned on me I have to do something about this what I started with I've always started with was the breathing and the chanting and the oming. It works because it centers the person and it centers everything around you. Uh, I changed a little bit because I've noticed that some yoga practitioners, or yoga practitioners, owners expect a little bit of movement from the dog as well. So I've started to play around a little bit in between doing poses where they can lift their dog up or do a special little extension uh, where the dog extends out, you know, or an upside down inversion because the owner does want to feel that they're also doing the yoga for the dog. I don't have disclaimers at this point, but I, I want to think that I have almost like a mental disclaimer with the owner where I trust them that they know what's best for the dog. I think it's, it's a good exercise to my <laughs> little crazy puppy. <laughs> I find that this cross very happy for a puppy. The poses in itself is just cool, yeah, if you can do the warrior and lift them up, great. But if you can't, just reach down or just do the pose and let your dog sit there or observe you from the side. There's so many differences in every dog, not just breed, but personality, what I'm getting to know. And it's so interesting, just, they're, they're little people. <laughs> I can see Doga being introduced worldwide. <laughs> I'd love to teach workshops and teach uh, communities and um, shelters, especially shelters for dogs. Also, Doga works really well with autism. Uh, I, I use Doga with my autistic clients, two men. They're blind and autistic, and we've done, we've done Doga. They don't like to touch. They don't like to be touched, but for some reason, they're fine with the dog. Doga is fantastic. It's just going to go into so many therapeutic avenues. That's what I see, and that's what I want to see come out of this, uh, this work. That really, let's get, let's get everyone to bond through nature.